Diego, and despite the disappointment of the loss, he said what a thrilling experience it was to be out on Ash and playing you. Just uh, your, your thoughts on, on the match and the atmosphere. Yeah, uh, I think it, it was a very good, uh, very special match for me, playing the Arthur Ash against Diego. Uh, we are very friends, and I'm happy for him also because uh, he made a really good tournament, beating op good opponents, Silic, Puil. So he has to be happy about his tournament here in US Open. And um, well, of course, for me, is uh, I'm very excited to be in the semifinals. I think that it was a very good opportunity to 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 do it to win semifinals and and I just try to to make my best and and well I, I think that the match today was very good I played very solid from the baseline and trying to don't do mistakes and in the important moments maybe my surf uh, was the different the difference. As someone who has said his favorite surface is clay, how have you adapted your game for the hard courts to become the successful? Yeah, probably I'm more comfortable playing on clay courts, but when I was young, when I started to play tennis, I I play all the time in hard courts, so I always comfortable playing in these surfaces. Uh, my first ATP title was in Winston Salem, on uh, hard court, and the next one was in Moscow, in indoor court. So, I think I all also comfortable playing here. I think that my my game is is really good to play on hard courts. I had a, I have a a good serve and I play solid uh, on the baseline from the baseline. And and well, if you don't make mistakes and you play aggressive. Your your game are be able to to be good in in this surface also. Yeah. In the second set, he had a chance to go up five three, and then yeah. you, you, know, you, you you saved three break points. Did you think that was a key point for you to turn of around? Of course, of course, it was the most important moment of the match. It was the key because uh, when I when I was four three and f and uh, low forty, uh, it was really tough. Mentally, mentally, for and I just try to be focused on the next point, step by step, you know, point by point, and and finally I I did it. I I won my game and then I broke it. So I think it was the most important moment of the match, and I think that I played really good. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Good run. Uh, so, sometimes um, in life things go really well for us, sometimes not. Um, you have had a good draw here. What in your career was like the, the toughest luck, the toughest break uh, in your career, either in uh, health or a tournament? Or uh, uh, of course, I, I, I know that I have a, a good draw here. I play against Quali in first round, in second round, in third round, and in fourth round. That's true. That the the, the match against Sapovalov, it was really tough. It's not a normal qualifier. But when you have this draw, you you have to to do your best to aprovecharlo, to to take advances. So. So I I think that is is a, a really good tournament for me. If I don't I know that I I didn't win matches against top players, top ten or top twenty players, but I'm I'm very happy with my tournament. But my question is, has there been a time when you had really <coughs> sort of bad luck? You had to play Roger first round. Or yeah, of course. Uh, the draw. Sometimes you have lucky. Sometimes you are unlucky. Uh, first time that I play a Grand Slam, I play against Roger Federer in Roland Garros. Uh, if you are seeded, normally you don't play against uh, another seeded until third round. So that's that's the, the important thing uh, to be a seeded here in US Open. I was uh, seeded number twelve or eleven. I don't know. 
2012. And the city that were in the same part of my draw uh, don't arrive to, to me. <laughs> Any other questions in English? Yes, we, well, we don't know who your opponent will be, so if it's okay, I'd like to ask you about each of the two possibilities. When you think about the possibility first of playing Sam, what stands out most about what that matchup will depend on? I, I never play against him, but I watch a lot of matches. Uh, this year he's playing really good. He won in Acapulco. He did semifinals in Wimbledon, so <laughs> he will be a really tough match against him. And it's always difficult to play against him because he has a really good serve and really good forehand. Uh, I will try to play to his backhand. And if you play Kevin Anderson, you'll go from playing a guy five foot seven to a guy six foot eight. Yeah. What sort of adjustment <laughs> will that be for you? Uh, I, I play against Kevin in Montreal, the, the first tournament of, of, the, of the tour here in USA, and I lost. So maybe it <laughs> will be uh, uh, difficult to play against him again, but I think that now in this moment I'm playing with more confidence. I'm playing better than the, that the, than in Montreal. Why? What gives you that more confidence? Well, I I get rid of these tournaments. Uh, I I won a lot of matches here in in US Open, so that's that's something important to your confidence. So now I think I'm I'm playing much better. When we think of Spanish tennis, of course, we think of Rafa. Could you just talk uh, about him? Has he been uh, supportive of you? Do you like sort of that he gets all the attention and you sort of less so? Just talk, talk about just being from the same country. Yeah, of course, if you, if you speak with some Spanish people about tennis, everybody knows Rafa. That's true that Rafa is an incredible tennis player, he's one of the best uh, ever and and it's, that's normal, no? But there are a lot of, a lot of uh, Spanish players, a, a good Spanish players, and now I'm in semi-finals of the Grand Slam of U.S. Open, and I think it's it's as as important as if Rafa arrives to semi-finals, no? Uh, so it's maybe it's easier easier when you when in your country Rafa has all the attention and you are very well, with without this pressure no so i don't know sometimes it's good sometimes it's not not good <laughs>